You're watching John's Bus Conversion, brought to you by the, um, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This isn't a how-to video. Yeah. Well, I thought we'd take a look at the uh, gray water tank setup. I got this tank used, gray water tank for 65 bucks. Get out of an old motorhome, so I'm hooking it up the way it was in there. I've got this piece of plywood that I cut. Uh, it's 20, 24 inches um, by 40. And it's going to go underneath this, and eventually this will terminate into this. which is the wastewater valve. These, these brackets came with it. So these go underneath. Something like this. A 3 inch PV ABS pipe will fit into here. And then it's just like regular plumbing until you get to this piece, which is going to go on the driver's side and thanks to my friend Patrick I was just about to put it on mounted on this side and he's, he says wait wait a minute man you have to do it on the driver's side or you're gonna be hating life welcome to my dungeon this is here we are under the bus um, I just thought I'd show you how I'm hooking the gray water tank up up here I've got these this pieces of angle iron right here this piece I put in and then there's this uh, threaded stock, 5 8 inch threaded, that comes down. And then on the bottom, <coughs> this piece here. Okay, well, I can't really see it that well, but there's the gray water tank is up above. I've got these uh, this angle iron here that's holding it into place. And so this piece that's sitting on top of this piece of plywood here. Peace out. <laughs> so it comes out here. And this is just slip fit in here. It's not glued. I kind of pounded it in with a, a rubber mallet. Comes off here. And then that goes up to where the shower is. And this uh, part here goes off to the drain. The drain. The drain comes out here. Uh, you unscrew this here. Or if this particular one has a, a thing right there for a garden hose, you can hook up and then you pull this stop out and the water drains. Here's my ugly uh, plumbing job. Uh, this part over here is going to go this way. And then the vent um, is going to go up this way and out through the roof. Okay, hopefully that's it. And there it is with the vent rerouted to where the new hole is or the, the hole it's got these uh, 30 degree and I kind of uh, this is all dry fit I when I get it the way I want it like this I'm gonna go and take the uh, marker and make a mark what I'll do is kind of do something like that now yeah, you can't really see it but And now I know where that one went back together. See, and I can take the whole thing out and put it together piece by piece and get it back the way it was. And so that's what's happening there. Let's take a look outside, upstairs. So here's where it's coming out the top. Anyway, this fits over the top here. Yeah, I know my tongue is blue. I've been eating shaved ice. This water hookup is going to go uh, on the front, on the side of the bus. There's a uh, faucet right on the left there that's uh, for 
filling the water tank. The other one is for hooking up city water and then there's an air hole. And this thing is going to go right about here. Right behind the wheel well here. Right about here. I'm going to cut it on the inside first. Uh, just to make sure where it doesn't really matter. It's easy to hide. That's all going to be covered anyway. Make sure there's no, no surprise waiting for me back there. And then I'm going to cut it on the outside. So that's what it looks like. And behind there looks fine. It looks like uh, ready to go. Got a pilot hole, a drill pilot hole, and start doing it from the outside. Cool, what are you doing? Cutting a hole in the bus. And then here's what it looks like on the inside. So the uh, city water hooks up to the brass fitting there, which goes into the bus water. Uh, the, the large one is for filling the tank, and then the little one is for air. You're watching John's Bus Conversion, brought to you by the users of this. Oh yeah. Never mind. Delete that one, Grandpa.